38 <laughs> weeks and I'm still on top. Ta -da, ta -da. We, <laughs> we had sex the other night. I have to admit, it was kind of exciting because I didn't know if I could do it, like physically. No, she's, like, she's huge. I mean, not, not according to how most women are. But no, it's a pregnant belly. I'm due in two weeks. I mean... It's out there. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, is it... Oh, it's oh. hard, too. I could, like, cut diamonds with this thing. I think I could see the outline of the baby. <laughs> <I know. laughs> but it's interesting because so many people told me that sex would get difficult in the last trimester. That means it's always been difficult. And it wasn't difficult throughout the whole pregnancy. And when you're pregnant, your vagina is like super creamy. Yes, just getting ready. Yep. And there's a lot of blood there. So it's it's really sexy. Pumped up. It, you're, you have a constant ongoing erection inside. Today, when I, I was peeing, and I just felt like my, my anus and then my pussy lips and everything, and everything's like engorged. Yeah. Getting ready, so I'm like, of course I'm turned on. And I'm having, like, crazy sex dreams. And great orgasms. And great orgasms. So I figured... And her husband loves <laughs> pregnant sex. That matters. I mean, that's really a lot. He's very good, because he's always saying, like, you look amazing, you look beautiful. He's so thrilled to be a daddy. I mean, this can you imagine having a, a, a partner who is resenting and doesn't want it and does, is not ready for the no, responsibility? No, I can't. This man is out of his gourd happy. And the fact that you're both fertile like you work, like there's a, a sexy component to that. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know that in a couple of, you know, two weeks, we're going to, you know. Ah! <laughs> I know. I can't believe it. It went so fast. Ugh. I'm, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready to be an aunt. Well, technically, I think you're grandma, Betty. Am I going to be grandma? I think so. I, I think I'm ready for grandma. Okay, be grandma. I like Grammy. Yeah, I love to be a grandmother. I am the grandmother. Well, I liked um, our conversation before we started this video because when I was sharing with you that I was still sexual and I was having these sex dreams, and the other night, oh, I woke up and I was all wet and I thought, oh no, my water broke. I'm going to go early. And I went to the bathroom and it was just like... Pussy juice. Pussy juice just <laughs> pouring out of her. <laughs> and you said that's health. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. It's so healthy. You, She is so healthy. I am her witness. I have watched this woman take excellent care of her body. All, all the ten years we've been together, she has always taken care of her body. I have too, but I'm a little periodic. You know, I'm a periodic everything. You're a little binger sometimes. I binge, you know, and sometimes I eat bad, and sometimes I get drunk, and sometimes I smoke <laughs> too much dope. But so that, you know what? I do too, because I was with you, and I was smoking dope and binging. But I think it comes from a place of self-love, that when you love your body and you respect your body... I always take care of it in between mm -hmm. my binges. <laughs> <laughs> And so do and so do you and and since she since your witness since she got pregnant, she has not done one thing, not one, not one bit of non organic anything has gone through her mouth. No drugs, no nothing, nothing, nothing. And I have to say, I haven't had any swollen feet, I haven't had heartburn, hemorrhoids, any of those things. And it really is what you eat. It's that simple. And, you know, instead of having a candy bar, have some dried cranberries or dried apricots. It's so easy. And, you know, a cut-up apple. If you just flip the switch and do it, you know, because now I'm not going to have a lot of weight to lose. No, and, and it, sugar is the killer whale. It has always been the main problem, in America specifically. I mean, and, and fast food, that's, you, you've never done it. Processed food, yeah, no. Everything's fresh. And the other day, I ordered a whole bunch of stuff from Amazon. I thought of you because I thought, wow, in two weeks, I'm going to have this baby, and then I'm going to get my period again. I need to get my post-birth Diva Cup. And then I'm like, oh, wait, I'm going to be using my diaphragm again. I have to get my, you know, uh, non-monoxidal, nine clean, green, contragel spermicide. And I ordered that on Amazon. I'm like, I have to prep for my post-birth sex. Nice. It's all there and all available. And this is what we want all women to do for their birth control. Get off of the pill 
get off of chemicals. Chemicals are killing us. Anything that was is healing is going to be plant-based. Plant-based, not chemical. So there you have it. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, is she ready? Okay, now that I'm grandmother, I'm ready. Okay, good. So Let's go. maybe next video. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> It's very exciting. It is. Oh, God, it's marvelous. And thank you for your support. You guys have been great. I've gotten so many wonderful emails, and I really feel loved and supported. You are. We both are. Mm -hmm. And we love you right back. Bye.